hell this shit gonna fuck up. Hi everybody, so glad you're with us. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Oscar De La Hoya stunned by that shot. Hearns' his combination punching is working well here. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. The first what does Oscar need to be aware of facing a power puncher like he is tonight? Well, that Oscar has a good defense. I mean, that is something that they've worked on throughout his amateur career into his pro career. He knew he had to be the full package. I'm going to tell him before, if he's my fight, I'm going to say, show me that dimension. I know you're good offensively. Show me how good you are defensively. Good block by Tommy. There's the combo downstairs. Halfway through this round. Satisfied in the inside. In on that overhand right. Able to block and counter back. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. His DNF said, uh, Nowhere 16. Nowhere close to that punch by Tommy Hearns. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, that's Joel, okay, that's keeps okay. up there. Both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Nice two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Good work to he missed that, but that's cool. Boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. De La Hoya's right hand working well that time. He scored well. I want to do the, my uh, power review. I think I'm just doing over this. I might. That he can turn things around quickly. Hard to believe, based on the end of that last round, right, that he was even up, able to survive. Well, if you read up on Houdini, the great escape artist, it's hard to believe that he escaped some of the positions he was in. Remember that box with the chains around him and everything underwater? He got out of this. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Oscar De La Hoya. There's another left hand from him. And Oscar De La Hoya's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Too much, too soon. And now because of that pace that he set, not enough. Yeah, he's starting to look like my kids used to look like when they were little when they ate too much candy. I mean, they were running all over the room, jumping all over the place, and then, bang, they crashed. All of a sudden, they hit the sack. Good job on the two-punch combo by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. A headshot block. David Come on, my nigga. Lucky that the referee didn't see that. I can't believe he just got away with a headbutt. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Hearns' three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. <laughs> Tried the hook, didn't get it. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Keep moving, keep moving. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Oscar De La Hoya. I fucking backed up. That shit was not supposed to land, bro. He comes back with the left hand again. Carries that punch intended for the head. Come to the end of the round. Always interesting to see how things will play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside in the buildup of what's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's always great having a little electricity in the crowd. You know, it helps. I know it helps me with the broadcast to know that you have these passionate fans that are around. He gets off with a combination up top. 
And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Tommy Hearns has got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. Yeah, but what you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Does he place his punches? Is he intelligent with that speed? Naval Hoya is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Naval Hoya's right hand scores well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Dave Hoya is able to land a nice, clean left hand. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Coming to the halfway point of this third round, Tommy Hearns' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? That was bullshit. That straight right hand. Come on, come on, come on. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. <laughs> Hearns is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Come on, get focused. Turns over that hook upstairs. <laughs> And a well played How the fuck I miss by the golden boy Oscar De La Hoya. Final ten seconds. Three minutes gone by in this round. Start of round number four, easy scorecard to put together. Hearns is up three rounds to zip, and Teddy, he's been carrying this fight because he's just simply been the more active guy. Yeah, nobody's really landed a lot, to be honest, but when one guy's a lot busier than the other guy, he wins the round. I'm commentating it. I'm commentating his line A for him, aren't there? Yeah, Kyle I write this nigga in like both of the rounds. He's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Well, two rounds. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Cover your head, kid. Very accurate two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. Hook off the jab. Hook off the jab. Hearns is able to land a good, solid left hand. What the old timers want to see. Combination punching by Tommy Hearns. Halfway through this round here. Takes a step back, cool. then the counter punch by Oscar De La Hoya. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. That's my fault. My head was itching. Uh, did that shit too early. Damo Hoya's punch didn't come close. Tommy Hearns is coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. That's not what the fuck I pressed, man. Offensively scoring with that left hand. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Oscar De La Hoya's in bad shape. We come to the end of the round. And obviously, they're going to have to tend to that cut right away. How important is it that you have good faith in that cut, man? Well, it's everything. The most important thing is what not to do sometimes, not just what to do. You know, you got to stop the bleed, you got to put pressure, you got to get the right camera. Bro, this fucking game never does what I press sometimes. I'm not going to say never, but that shit is an issue. You know, you want him to be nice and calm because just what you said, the fight is looking at that corner. No matter what controller I'm using, what system. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. De La Hoya is showing a great ability to adjust. He was stunned earlier, but you can see... I feel like I'm losing a lot of stamina. Hey, look, Joe, I was watching a football game in my room this afternoon, and you know what? The team was running the ball. All of a sudden, the run was taken away. So this nigga's legitimately running around the ring. He's making an adjustment. He's trying to win the ball game. Well, 
Oh, he's trying to win this fight. A crushing two-punch combo by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Accurate counter punch by Tommy Hearns. Hearns is... I mean, you can tell by how committed he is at staying on the outside and just continuing to score like this, that he is employing a strategy that he really wanted to put forth. Yeah, I give him a lot of credit because he understood what kind of fighting he was bullshit. ready for. A guy who was very strong but very slow-footed. So he's making sure that he does not feed into his opponent's strengths and he makes sure that he exploits his weaknesses. Great work offensively landing that combination by Tommy Hearns. Good return fire that time. That was bullshit. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Tommy Hearns. The golden boy with a big left. And that's the end of round five. Teddy, did you bring any painter's drop cloths? Because there is blood flying everywhere from these two. Yeah, I got a poncho. I picked it up. A guy was selling it outside. It was raining, but we never thought it'd be necessary to use it inside. It is. No, I am losing stamina, though. Unfortunately. Let's go. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Dave La Hoya is now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent. The fuck? I only pressed this shit once. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Damn, bro. Nigga not doing what I'm pressing this shit. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. What an excellent two-punch combo by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. 90 seconds to go here in this round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya is putting forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three-punch combination score. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You're not focusing. Keep working the body. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot and brings back the uppercut. Dave Hoya's failure to get away from his opponent's right hand is really the difference in this fight. Yeah, it is. He continues to get hit with the same punch. Needs to slip to the left. Easy to see, easy to score. See, I'm, I'm just losing stamina all around, bro. As this fight I'm trying to chill and not spend too much. Great divide between these two. Yeah, it's like painting by the numbers. I mean, it's all been laid out there. Very simple, very effective. I'm about to drop. What the fuck? But it's hard to hit him because he just keeps circling. lined up but he missed it's not even really circling around me it's like around the ring bro. able to defend and then go on the offensive oh a nice two punch combo by Oscar De La Hoya return to sender he gives him back one of his own of punches just put him down get the young brothers out it is raining punches here De La Hoya is gonna keep taking this test rising up after being knocked down dismisses his opponent's headshot 
right back to the body. Hearns has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. De La Hoya is wanting the counter punch here. But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe the fuck can you do what I press see what he has to see? Because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. You're okay. Don't worry. You're doing fine. Teddy scorecard shows Hearns is up. No doubt about that. The past few rounds we've seen, he has just extended his lead. He has gained all momentum in this fight. Yeah, he's very confident. He's got everything working. Obviously, he's in great shape, and he's following his game plan. And a good, solid one-two combo by Tommy. Big, big shot comes crashing home. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Oh, should he really try on again? De La Hoya's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're going to find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight, and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. De La Hoya's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. De La Hoya is not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not fuck, at all. fuck you mean, not much movement. This nigga's been moving around the ring the whole <laughs> fucking fight, dog. I'm trying to rest a little bit. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. De La Hoya is showing you that sublime. I got you. Because right when that stamina drop, you are able to get knocked the fuck out. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Mm, that's my fault. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Oscar De La Hoya. I'm trying to chill because I lost too much fucking stamina. Yeah. But it is the end of the fight, so. Good combination to the body. Devastating blow by the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. And that does it for this round. Hearns is in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have him ahead on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Locks a shot and then... Same up, here's my Q. Here's my Q. Midsection now. Burns' his hand speed is the difference here. I mean, that's what that combination was all about. Oh, okay. He just got off faster, sooner. do when he sends that right to the head. Unable to score with the hook. There's no need to Burns is doing well here with that two punch combination. Are you fucking kidding me though? Scores up top with a left. <laughs> Scores well to the head with the right hand. Come on, kids, fight it! That was bullshit. Defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Well targeted to Damn, am I ever gonna be unstunned, my nigga? 
Tommy the Hitman Hearns with a big hit in right hand. Hearns is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make... Bro, I've been stunned like all around. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. All right, this is it. Round number 10, scheduled for 10. Comes right back with a shot of his own. De La Hoya's corner's going to be all over him to improve that defense. His opponent is scoring well. Two solid hooks to the body. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. And then comes back with an uppercut. De La Hoya's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Right back downstairs. Oh, and he's got something for him himself. And it's a left big shot. Oh, it's over. This is over. He goes down. This is going to be called the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Four, five, six, seven. De La Hoya's ability to get up from that knockdown has to be admired. But I don't know that this fight's going to go much longer. Did you see that? From absolutely out of nowhere. Yeah, this shit over there. Maybe six inches. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Oscar De La Hoya is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. Burns his power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts, ring money. It was uh, I mean, I don't even need to do an outro for this, for real. Like, Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fight. It was an okay fight. So whatever, I'm not tripping. Your boy Super Signing G, the greatest one and only, you feel me, signing out.